Happy holidays, everyone. I'm Eli Roth, the director of The House with a Clock in Its Walls, with an exclusive sneak peek from one of the bonus features. Let's take a look. You see how it looks this real, this close up in bright light? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's how you know it's going to look amazing on film. There are three major pieces. There's a back portion put on, and then there's a whole face and a collar. And once they're glued on, there's the contact lenses that go in, and there's teeth that I put in. And then my hands get done as well. Don't pull the finger off. I often lose these fingers. The layer of the makeup is super thin, so you don't lose any of the facial expressions. All good. When Kyle first walked out of that trailer, I was shocked. He transformed. He actually scared me. Oh my gosh! Uh, You're so creepy. At first, I was like, wait, Kyle, that's you? It was chilling. And while I was watching him, I was getting jealous because I was thinking, God, that looks fun to be pure evil. Why am I not the evil one in this movie? <laughs> Isaac is very dark. But within that darkness, there's still a twinkle. So that was the part of the challenge of bringing that little bit of fun to the darkness. Warms my dead heart. That's a lot of clocks. For me, it's a perfect amount of clocks. The central character in the house with a clock in its walls is the house itself. I really wanted to design a house that feels like a labyrinth from another time. Things move and the organs alive. The pictures look at you if you're not looking at them. I love this wallpaper, which if you look really carefully, Isaac's initials are embedded Isaac's in this wallpaper. Obviously the suit of armor, because what house is complete without a suit of armor? Hear that sound? Love that sound? I have a clock obsession, and most of these are working clocks. It's a combination of as many clocks as we could get our hands on that looked somewhere between whenever and 1955. Oh, hello. This is the grandfather of all grandfather clocks. We built this clock for Kate's entrance in the movie. The ratchet wheel shot and the click spring's not far behind. We'll take the gumballs too. Why does Isaac need the eclipse? The sun, earth, and moon line up like a clock striking midnight. The fabric of space time gets thin, flexible, like stretched out silly putty. Which gives him his only chance to bend it backward. Gold star. Uh, that's the clock that never breaks, right? Welcome to the clock room. I'm so excited. You gotta be careful where you step, you might get crushed. Normally, when you're shooting, people say there's a lot of moving pieces, but this entire set is literally all moving pieces. That one's coming at you, that one's pushing you, this one's pushing. It's a masterpiece of a set. You're inside of like a tight Swiss pocket watch, and the gears are moving, but the gears are ginormous. Three, two, one, bang! All of this stuff is real. This is all real steel. The center cogs move. We have wheels that descend. We had claws that come in. We wanted to do a spectacular finale. But it is by far the most complicated sequence to film. Cut. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was amazing. It is so fun. I got to wear the vest and they picked me up. Then you're gonna jump, right? Yeah, right? The gears actually moved and I had to jump around them. I got to jump from gear to gear to gear. Uncle Jonathan! Owen loves it. The kid's such a trooper. He's up for anything. Good scene. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> that is creepy. This is the weirdest thing I've ever held in my life. The Baby Jack sequence might be my favorite sequence of the whole movie. <laughs> Jack Black gets turned into the Jack Black baby. His body turns into a baby, and the head is life-size. And I, I don't know where it came from. I just had an image of it. I thought it'd be really funny. <gasps> Uncle Jonathan? It's me, but it's, uh... <laughs> 
It's like another character. It genuinely is scary. We molded Jack's face, we sculpted it. It's disturbing. You look at this thing and it's legitimately creepy. Adrian Moreau is genius, and I do not use that word lightly. He designed the most beautiful animatronic Jack Black baby. Oh, it's amazing. It looks real. <laughs> it is alive. It looks just like him. Every time I look at him, I'm like, that's not Jack. Then if I, when I cover up the body, I'm like, what? What? Everyone on set is really creeped out by the baby. It looks creepy. It looks creepy. That's a good sign. When people are walking by that thing, they're like, oh, get that thing away from me. I'm like, all right, that's the sweet spot we want to be in. I like to call them automatons, but Eli says it automatons. Automatons? It makes me think I'm saying it wrong. Automatons? Autom automaton. I don't know how to say the word. Automatons? I found out that Spielberg has like a warehouse full of automatons. Like in Raiders of the Lost Ark, all those boxes, they're actually Spielberg's like automatons. We're very happy to get those, trust me. This is from Steven Spielberg. I think it's from the 1870s. They're beautiful and, and rare, but they're also super creepy. <laughs> the automatons look both sweet and sinister. We came up with all these really crazy robots and then these strange, weird baby face things. They're creepy just looking at them sitting there still. And when they come to life, it is terrifying. So creepy. That's a lot of clocks. Well, what constitutes a lot is really a matter of personal taste. For me, it's a perfect amount of clocks. Oh, sorry, there's a deranged cuckoo in there. The ratchet wheel's shot and the click spring's not far behind. Hello, you're Lewis, I presume. How was your trip? This old hag is my next door neighbor, Mrs. Florence Zimmerman. I'm relieved to see you didn't inherit your uncle's freakishly oversized head. Huh, says the woman who literally looks like a Q-tip. Oh, look, the giant head is angry. My God, did that withered purple skeleton just speak? She thinks she's smarter than me because she's got more college degrees. No, I think I'm smarter than you because I'm smarter than you. Don't I have to have dinner before I'm allowed to have cookies? Well, why not just eat cookies for dinner? They're far more delicious. I know, it's just, we have these house rules. Well, not in this house. There's no bedtime, bath time, or meal time. You can eat cookies till you throw up for all I care. You'll see. Things are quite different here. of old, turn this draw sled into gold. Wow. That was really, really terrible. I mean, just awful. Hey. You're reading it like it's a Buick manual. It's not what you say, Lewis. It's how you say it. You're the only you in the whole universe. That makes your style of magic just crazy unique. One in a hundred million kajillion. So I can give you the right books, teach you the right spells, but that last one percent, that's up to you. So how do I find my magic style or whatever it is? It's in there somewhere. You just have to quiet down and listen. Now it looks like you're pooping. Jack-o'-lantern. They scare away evil, and iron does too. Well, it repels evil, like bug spray. And that is why we have iron horseshoes, and that's why cemetery gates are made of iron. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And how does one become a full-fledged warlock? You have to defeat an evil spirit by using your own magic. That is absolutely right. <laughs> what smells of rancid sulfur? I understand that. So should we just sit around so and try to figure out the we heck we don't have time? Plan. Guys! Oh, my giddy aunt. 
Don't worry, their teeth are made of pumpkin. They can't really hurt us. <sighs> 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 Okay, I made that up. Here we are, home sweet home. The house with a clock in its wall is an exciting new world of magic and spooky fun. Weird. With surprises around every corner. Seriously? And over 60 minutes of bonus features not seen in theaters. The house with a clock in its walls with an alternate opening and ending on digital November 27th on Blu-ray and DVD December 18th. Hey there, here's a cool behind the scenes movie fact. Now for the movie Interview with a Vampire, the actors who played vampires had to hang upside down for 30 minutes in order to get the blood vessels in their face to bulge. Makeup artists would then trace them to get the translucent skin look. Hmm. Now remember, click here below to subscribe or over here for more great content.